Death and Taxes was a performance. It lasted for about a year. With Death and Taxes, we turned the control over our finances, our daily living expenses, over to a corporate board, so they were in charge of what we spend. The food and clothing board budget, uh, I don't know, we just need it. <laughs> I, I don't know what, I mean, but a lot of it, I guess for the annual, a lot, I mean, I think that the food budget, there's just nothing else we can do there. It's about $100 a week, plus or minus. I think you could say that we privatized our lives for a year. Uh, it started out as a conversation about taxes. From the tax conversation, it became a conversation about art. But we were really asking, from a tax perspective, what, what happens when the medium of art, or you might say the, the mode of production, is life itself. There are many different types of corporations. The most common are probably the C corporation and the S corporation, and they refer to subchapters of the IRS tax code. The difference between the two is mainly in how they're taxed. A subchapter S corporation is taxed like a partnership, where any of the income that the corporation earns is passed directly through to the shareholders, and the loss that the corporation would generate would be passed through too. You know, the question was, is it possible to compare the loss which we might generate, compare that against our personal income taxes? Our corporation had at its helm a board of directors of 15 board members. They were all professionals in the art community. They were museum directors, they were gallerists, they were writers, they were curators, and we also put artists on the board to create a balance. It was really important for us to work with a board that wasn't emotionally close to us. We were afraid that there might be a situation in which the board has to ask us to do something that we feel uncomfortable with. And they, and they did ask us to do things over the course of the year that we didn't necessarily want to do. I mean, it was all good for us to do, but um, it wasn't what we imagined spending our time doing over the course of the year. Because of the connections on the board, Sue Mark introduced us to Bruce Douglas, and Bruce is an environmental educator, and Bruce came by the house and showed us a number of ways to trim our utility bill. The board was really helpful. They helped us save costs. We're going to have to clean it up. We're going to freeze the food and, um, and some other stuff. We have a lot of stuff in here. What you have, and then now maybe we can just sit down and talk about what kind of meals we can make with, you know, when we go shopping, what we can get to supplement the stuff that you have here, uh -huh. and then plan out some meals that uses the stuff that you have, and also, I think that way, if you're planning for what you're going to eat, then you're not running out last minute and buying things and spending maybe right. money that you don't, you know, uh -huh. that maybe you wouldn't if you, you know, were more organized. We, we reduced our expenses, our grocery expenses, significantly. Just that you by more efficient shopping. Yeah. But knowing what you were going to eat over the next two weeks and then finding the cheapest place to get those things and getting your grocery shopping done. It kind of took a day to go grocery shopping, but yeah. it certainly cut down on the expense. It put a lot of pressure on us. Uh, we spent a fair amount of time arguing about money or about how we were spending our time. We were pretty much at divorce level a couple of times. Um, it was very stressful for us. We were overwhelmed. There were a number of subcommittees on the board, and one of them was a finance subcommittee. And the finance subcommittee was always asking us for forward-looking statements regarding our financial data. And that was pretty difficult to figure out how much money you were going to make that quarter or how much you were going to need to spend. Uh, it was a tough prediction to make. So we decided to involve a psychic and to have a Tarot reading done to figure out what our financial future will be like and if we'll ever be able to sustain ourselves financially. It was also part of our quarterly report, in particular the management discussion. Okay, we're all right now. Dear homework.
and you'll come out on top. Okay. This is the card where people recognize you and say, hey, you know, you are, and you're, the, you're cool, you're great, you're the leader. They just tell you, you don't have to tell them. So now, what do you think? <laughs> It's like Siskel and Ebert. <laughs> this uh, and she might get pregnant. So I hope you two want kids at some time. So the Tarot reading actually filled that role of management discussion for that quarterly report. We wanted to do a couple of smaller performances within a larger performance. We called them sonnets. And usually we base our work on conceptual art, on other work that's been done in the 60s and 70s. Toward the beginning of the year, we picked up a time clock, similar to the one that Teaching Say used for a performance he did in the 1970s. Our idea was to clock in when we came home from work, and then to clock out as we were leaving for work the next day, because we were working when we were actually living. So Howard Freed did a piece that involved golf, and we did a piece in which we learned how to play golf. First of all, we thought that this would be a good activity for me as a CEO um, in particular. 